Hello, and welcome back to Horde of Tales. Uh, I'm Liv Kennedy, and I am your game master today as we play Thirsty Sword Lesbians. I will never get tired of calling myself a game master. Um, <laughs> Horde of Tales is um, uh, doing pride, and doing pride right. Uh, we've been um, sponsored by Evil Hat Productions, and we're playing a bunch of their games uh, during the month of pride. Uh, so we're playing Thirsty Sword Lesbians, but there are other casts who are playing Girl by Moonlight and Monster of the week and if you want to check out those games and support those casts uh you should check the link in the chat uh and just see what's going on it would mean a lot um okay uh let's go around the table shall we and introduce ourselves again uh sam hello folks i'm sam my pronouns are he him i'm a science communicator ttrpg performer in scotland um, I am a white cisgender man. I have a brown beard, uh, short brown hair. I'm wearing a purple Stonewall t-shirt and got colorful glasses, which I mentioned last time. You can't really see on them, but they're really cool. Um, and I'm really glad to be back for session two. Heck yeah. Anya. Yeah, I'm Anya. My pronouns are she, her. And I am uh, wearing a very cozy green sweater and a fun little little beaded bandana not bandana a little headband thing there we go that's the word <laughs> i'm dressed up as nyx again so yay yay we love it um sakaya hello i am sakaya i go by she her pronouns i am a white trans woman i am wearing a long pink wig pink jacket and a frilly white skirt and green ears and i am playing cherry heart today wonderful stuff ida Hi, my name is Aida. My pronouns are she and her. I'm a Latin woman of color. I'm an immigrant in the Netherlands. Um, I have tan olive skin. I have uh, short wavy hair I'm wearing a pink top and I have sort of this uh, Android-esque makeup on. I am playing Dora who uses any pronouns and she is the hollow goddess playbook. Amazing stuff. And I am uh, Liv Kennedy. I am the game master today. I am a mixed race woman uh, with brown skin. I've got brown eyes and short cropped curly hair. Um, very, very short. Um, I've also got glasses on and I'm wearing a big hoodie that has three black halflings stuff on it, which is the podcast I'm in. Um, yeah, I'm going to take a pause real quick to double check the content warnings that we I'm going to put into this episode. Uh, mm -hmm. So I just want to make sure, I, like with the content warnings, I'm being thorough because I don't want to mess that up. Because that would be we take bad. safety seriously here. We like to, uh, while Liv's preparing them, we're going to do our best to share them verbally, and our moderators are going to share it in in chat as well because mm -hmm. player, sorry, audience has a right to consent whether or not this is the right game for them. And Liv, mm -hmm. as an amazing exemplary. GM also takes this seriously. This is uh, her philosophy as well. I try. I try. <laughs> you should get an ex you should get you for this, right? What was that? You should get yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, of course. Of course. Oh, uh, I have one board. <laughs> um, doo -doo -doo. Uh, okay, we're going to go with that. And then also, oh, okay. And maybe. Uh, uh, in the meantime, Sam, you didn't share what uh, character and playbook you were uh, playing. Mm -hmm. Oh, apologies. Yeah, I'm playing Melody Starlight, and it is the Devoted playbook. Cute. Oh, and Nyx is the Trickster playbook. I did not share that either. I don't know if I shared I that in the first no, session. Same. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I may or may not be just giving Liv more time. You're so kind. I'm going to go with this, yeah. and I really hope uh, that this is all good. Uh, if not, I will rethink things. But uh, the content warnings I'm going to give right now are mm -hmm. severe tiredness, uh, financial differences, idol worship, and a concert setting. So I hope that that covers things. And if not, we'll, we'll double check. We'll check in. Yeah, we'll communicate. Uh, wonderful stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, gang. Uh, let's kick things off. Um, I'm going to start this uh, with something that came up in the last episode. Um, but we didn't have time to get around to it. I would like to address Cherry. So, Cherry, <laughs> last episode, uh, seeing Nyx perform a, uh, a feat of daring, uh, just uh, uh, you were like, wow, that's that's amazing. You became smitten uh, with Nyx. Um, and so I have to ask you this question. Why do you think that Nyx will never be able to accept the real you? Uh, 
when you're not muted. Uh, <laughs> and now, why do you think? <laughs> She'll never accept the real me because she can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> this has affected Cherry quite a lot, actually. I think she's been dwelling on it. Nick's Cherry feels that Nick's will never accept the real her because the real her underneath all of this is so uninteresting and untalented. Why would she when she's surrounded by the likes of Melody and Dora? And she saw how Melody's amazing songwriting had Dora's interest. And it's made her think a lot about how she treats those close to her because cherry is a people pleaser and she her her outside persona is is oh, the whole thing is garnered to gain friends but those closest to her she kind of ignores and disregards and takes for granted and dora is a close friend of hers and she watched on that mission as she kind of ignored dora and dora was rescued by nix and followed melody and her music and um, yeah, she's 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 completely smitten with Nick's. But what would Nick's ever see in her? I'm not crying. You're crying. Uh, <laughs> that is that is huge. Um, thank you for sharing that on Cherry's part. And with that in mind, we head into the next episode. Melody. <laughs> You are in your dorm room. I think it's important to mention that um, because you're all a part of Paimonia Academy and because this is um, a huge opportunity for you, um, those who are students in the academy don't pay for board. Uh, you just get to live in these lavish uh, settings for free. And you also get a stipend as well um, for uh training and learning um almost like kind of an apprenticeship but like very 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 good apprenticeship um and you are in these lavish dorms who do you think you are dorm mates with i think that i am dorm mates with someone whose attention i have been trying to get um, but have it's not been reciprocated at any point. I am dorm mates with Raven, um, one of the um, Academy's band members, um, mm -hmm. who I have such a crush on, and it's yeah. never been reciprocated. Yeah. Um, Raven is the coolest goth, coolest goth chick you could ever meet. Like, uh, like you see her and you're like wow imagine if i could be that cool wouldn't that be wild um yeah she uh, is completely accessorized she manages to carry out like the, to carry on off this like um this goth look but while still adhering to like the the um the uh dress code of the school um yeah she's and she's also extremely talented on the guitar like um i think uh melody you would have heard um her practicing her guitar um every so often and it probably just kind of left you do you think you would be in awe of it do you think you would be jealous in a way what do you think i don't think there'd be jealousy i think there'd definitely be a i want to be that talented i want to be on the same level which is not the first time i felt like this yeah. um but definitely not jealousy i don't think yeah yeah, I think you've kind of um, quietly listened as like um, she's played this, this guitar for you, maybe like run through a song idea that she has um, and you've just kind of just watched and gazed in, in awe and just kind of fallen for her just like a, li just a little bit. Um, and Raven is currently not the person who is in the dorm. However, you do know uh, that you will be seeing her later. Um, right now, uh, it's Willow who's in the door, door with you. Um, and funnily enough, uh, you you have an inkling that Willow has a little bit of a crush on you. So, you know, it's not the person that you particularly wanted to be there, but, you know, 
it's Fred Willow. She's lovely. Um, <laughs> um, and she's kind of like, um, you know, just watching you as you get ready for tonight's concert, which is a Celestia Wildfire concert. Your idol, the person you're devoted to. Can you tell us a bit more about Celestia? Yeah, Celestia is uh, someone who kind of came to uh, Melody's attention when she was around 14, stumbled upon that music of, she's a, a kind of legendary pop star in this world that we exist in. And there was something about the music and the magical energy and the emotion of the music that Celestia creates that really resonates with, with Melody. And um, she's seen by lots of people across the world as this beacon for hope and inspiration. And I was captivated. And the lyrics in there really spoke to me, it spoke to my soul. And I am a devoted fan. I, and yeah, I'm a, like a a member of a very big group called the Wildies. Um, and there are going to be several Wildies in the city today um, because the concert is tonight. It is it is so early in the morning um, as you get ready to stay in line for so 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 long um, because everyone who's anyone wants to go and see Celestial Wildfire, uh, even uh, Ravens going and it's not really her scene, you know, like um, that's not really the kind of music she enjoys, but she just appreciates the, the, um, the artistry that Celestia kind of bring, brings forth. And she also just kind of likes the way it makes her feel. She likes the atmosphere of it, which is something you can both kind of agree on. Um, and I will say as well, uh, you are reading over currently um, a letter that you received uh, that you are, reading right now and it's from your grandmother Serafina <laughs> and it reads my dearest Melody my sweet little songbird I do hope you are doing well in your studies I'm sure that you're showcasing your talents as you always wanted I know you're at the academy to learn about sword casting and such but I think it will soon be apparent that your greatest power lies in the music you share with others Enjoy your concert. I'm sure you and the wildebeest will have a wonderful time. Stampede. With all my love, Grandmama. P.S. Remember to bring snacks. Oh, she's, um, she'll get there one day with the name. She tries. She mm -hmm. tries. And I, I appreciate it. But where's my stampede? Uh, it, 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 well, have you got snacks? Have you? I yes, I do have snacks. I actually brought some some uh, snacks and some water for you to take with you because um, I know that you feel like um, super sleepy after um, uh, one of the shows because you just like so ah you just love Celestia so much and it's great. I wow. Um, but yes, uh, I, I brought like she brings out like a hamper of of things that she made for you and like it's been made with such care like uh crusts have been cut off sandwiches and um there are like some like cookies baked in the shape of hearts <laughs> and that are handmade um and uh they're your favorite uh flavor of cookie uh and uh and there's a a, a few bottles of water in there as well um and she's like uh, yeah no i hope uh i hope this helps <laughs> uh i'll place a hand on her shoulder I swear, this is like this is this is amazing. Mm -hmm. You did all this for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only you. And and if you're here, mm -hmm. who's in the queue? Uh, I'm gonna stagger an NPC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Head to on the ground. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Uh, she's gonna <laughs> grin and bear the blow. <laughs> Mark two conditions. Uh, <laughs> so she kind of looks at you. Um, I will wait <laughs> in this moment, knowing that this is part of this um, important day for us both. I will use my fanatical self sacrifice to take one of those conditions. That's very kind. So as oh. you see her eye twitch, what do you do to relieve this strain? <laughs> Um, I it's it's fine. Someone else will have a wristband, and you'll we'll be able to join. 
There's lots of us out there. We'll be absolutely fine. Uh, Don't worry. It's fine. Yes. Um, sure. Marks down the hopeless condition. Um, <laughs> I, I will take guilty. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're aware, you know? Um, uh, Willow uh, is like, um, yes, well, I mean, I, I, I thought because you, you enjoy the experience so much um, that you would be doing the waiting because I know that you uh, like to do, to chat with the other wildies. And I mean, <clears throat> I am, um, I, I, I couldn't, um, I, I couldn't afford to, to, um, to, to go um, just because I, I, I send a lot of like my, my stipend back to my, my family. Um, but, but I, 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 I still uh, made you this and, and I really hope that um, that helps. Um, but unfortunately I won't be able to, to, to come so oh oh i didn't know that uh, uh so, yeah why why would you it's okay um well no we'll we'll find a way no i, I i'm i'm really okay i've got some studying to do i mean like it, it's coming up to winter break uh soon and i, I um you know i i really have to, to make sure i'm on, on top of things before heading home so no we can't have that Look, okay. I, I'm gonna ask I'm gonna ask for some help. And I think I know someone I could maybe ask and I will take out my flip gem. And I'm gonna send a message to Cherry. Okay. What do you say to Cherry? Um Hey, um I I have a friend who's in a little bit of a pickle. Um you don't happen to be going to Celestia's gig tonight. And know anyone who has a spare ticket. This would mean a lot. Hmm. Cherry. I want you to <laughs> be stuck. <laughs> How dare she? <laughs> This is an exclusive show, you know? This is like you needed to have tickets well in advance. Um can you roll me to buy disaster roll? <laughs> because this it's is real. Real wildflower. Which wildflower I think about, you know? mm -hmm. this is a zero for Cherry, but I think it's probably this this defy disaster is probably based on wit, maybe, in terms of like trying to secure sources of where. Sure, absolutely. I'll allow might. wit. Yeah. Unless I can gracefully, like, you know, forge one. Um <laughs> <laughs> Very that great. is a five. A five, you say? Go ahead and mark <laughs> that XP down, if you would. Um, yeah. So, uh, Cherry, you want you want desperately to be the go-to uh, for Melody right now. You want to have that hookup. You want to um, be known as the influencer that you are. However, you know that's not your area. Music isn't your area at all. You're like a streamer a weaver um you uh that's like I, I found that too funny it wasn't even funny <laughs> <laughs> um and th it's not your area of expertise um but you could you could say that you'll put the word out maybe yeah i think more than that um obviously there's a bit of a squeal uh that melody has yeah contacted her and then sees what it's about and um because cherry won't have a ticket for this concert she's not going if she was, she'd give it. Oh, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially with that five disaster has struck, um, and I yeah. leave Melody on red for a bit because I do not know how to respond to that. <laughs> um, how do, wait, Melody? How do you feel about that? <laughs> I'll take a moment to take it in. She's probably streaming. Um, <laughs> I've, I've asked I've asked friends who can maybe help and we'll see if they come back but we'll find a way to get you in um willow nods um uh cherry is there anything that you try to do <laughs> cherry cherry has been trying um a little bit better with with her close friends because of what we spoke about earlier so she sends a message to Priyanka. <laughs> <laughs> after all, after all the like, you know, recognition and little sort of <laughs> nice comments that she's been making over the last couple of weeks, it's like, mm -hmm. "Hey, Pri, 
immediately you don't have to be like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to the concert, are you, by any chance? Yeah. Immediate. That was an immediate back. Like before, yeah. almost, it's like before you finished it, like somehow she knew. <laughs> There's a big long pause and she can just see sort of like the magical moats dot dot dotting across yeah. the mirror. It's like, she's like, <laughs> she like <laughs> waits for it to come through. And Cherry is really like, I, I shouldn't do this. I, I can't do this to Priyanka. I can't. This is not fair. Can I have your ticket? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, who? Okay, I want you to uh, make a uh, make a roll. <laughs> morality. Oh. Um. Uh, what was that? A morality. <laughs> a morality roll. Uh, <laughs> that'll be later. Um. <laughs> um I think uh, go ahead and just roll me um plus heart if you would and i will say you definitely have like at least five strings on priyanka so like uh you can add one if you wish i am using a string at this point yeah, yeah. um well that's a 10 on the dice so that's 13. cool um yeah priyanka <laughs> Uh, so yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I feel like Priyanka and Willow are part of the same survivors group that they <laughs> meet. <in. laughs> yeah, they're definitely like uh, close friends and they kind of just like talk to each other about how cool you both are. Um, yeah, Priyanka's like, um, with a 13 and how much she loves you. Like, yeah, sure, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I don't need it. I didn't want to go. Oh, thanks, Pri. Mm. You're the best. And then it's like dot 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 and then really <laughs> <laughs> oh. um heart, heart eyes emoji <laughs> oh i'm a horrible person <clears throat> oh absolutely take the guilty condition right now please <laughs> yeah okay yep <laughs> it's 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 gotta be it's gotta be uh, um okay uh melody you um turns out cherry uh is a super cool influencer and uh, got you the ticket. So. Uh, I'll send back a message going, uh, all caps, I, oh, I owe you one. Um, no, it was no problem. Well, no, no, I owe you one. Let's hang out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing stuff. Um, uh, so, uh, Melody, you have an additional ticket for tonight. Um, and what are you going to do? Are you going to head out to wait in the line? What, um, or are you going to make a willow go and do it? What are you going to do? <laughs> uh, no, I think we're, we'll, we'll go and head, like head and queue together now because I, Madame I Madame will deign the... to, yes, wonderful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah. So both, uh, both of you head out. Um, and do you do you happen to step into the line outside of this? Um, think of it as kind of like um, uh, it's not like a stadium. Uh, it's more of like the Globe Theater kind of vibe. Um, and uh, there are uh, it's very very early in the morning. You're surprised that Cherry was even awake, um, but you manage to get pretty far towards the uh the the start of the line uh it's really quiet out it's kind of that weird kind of like um in between time where it feels like the world is like stood still um and the sun is kind of rising up and it's it's that you're filled with a with an anticipation that you like can barely describe it's just the feeling of like i'm going to see celestia wildfire fire, like she's going to be there and it's so huge so so huge I put out my camping chair and like get myself bedded in for the day, have a cookie. Nice. Um, yeah. And I think um, the person who uh, stands next to you in line uh, happens to be Raven. And uh, yeah, she's like, hey, neighbor, how's it going? My glasses immediately just steam up. <laughs> um, um, Hey, you're you're here early. Yeah. Um, 
I thought I'd make a day out of it, you know? Uh, uh, I kind of, it's weird. I don't know why, like, I think I've mentioned that this isn't, this is not my scene like at all. Um, but there's just something about the vibe, you know? I know, right? I don't, Yeah. it's so good. Yeah. And everyone's so nice. Yeah. Real, real, real nice. Uh, yeah. You look around and, um, uh, the wildies are starting to, to file in now, uh, as it gets, um, a bit later in the day. Um, there are so many excited people who are just like screaming at each other. They're wearing all sorts of um, Celestia merch. Um, like uh, it's just like Celestia's face on a t-shirt with like a kind of like peace sign. Um, and she's like winking. Uh, Celestia um, is gorge. Uh, she has long blonde ringlets that go down um, to just past her shoulder. Um, uh, she's wearing a stunning dress in that um, in that image on the merch, um, holding her trademark guitar. Um, yeah, and she's completely non-distinct from any other um, singer who might be out there at the moment. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, and um, I think uh, as you're settling in for the long haul, um, what's everyone else up to? Uh, I think classes are still uh, are fully in swing now. I think that um, a lot of the wildies uh, who happen to be in the academy have taken the time off to go to this concert. Um, uh, but the three of you, I assume, haven't. What do you think? No, I don't think that this is really uh, Nix's jam Yeah, <laughs> necessarily. They feel a little bit more like an art house vibe to me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, Dora. I think Dora would have absolutely made plans to like catch a, um, a recreation or recording later because uh, the music compared to melodies at least is something that Dora is interested in as a curiosity, especially when she's so convinced that melodies music is competitive, strikes similar emotional chords, mm -hmm. if better. Mathematically, algorithmically, melody should be more successful in these terms, yet she is not. Mm -hmm. I must research this. <laughs> but okay. mm -hmm. there are other things to research, namely things that happened on a, in our previous mission. So I think I'll be spending time in the library. Okay. Um, uh, Nix, where are you hanging out? I had that moment of, I forgot what my character's name was. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God. So no. Zen, yes. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, where would Nix be hanging out? Probably, hmm, everyone's going to this concert. I feel like she would be taking a spare moment in a like tucked away corner of the library, like around a bend where no one can see her mm -hmm. and is just like curled up with a book just reading uh something that maybe maybe it's a book that she feels like she'd be judged to read and so she's like secretly reading it where no one can see nice um do you think you're anywhere near dora i don't think so maybe yeah. uh maybe they saw dora in the distance and like scurried away around the corner to try to hide people can't know you you read things no no, 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 that's cool. not cool. Yeah, you're still <laughs> cool now. Yeah. Um, Cherry, you in the library? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Cherry's, Cherry's got a couple of free periods and she's mm. feeling super guilty. <laughs> Why? <So> she, <laughs> uh, <laughs> she, she's actually going to like, she's going to hurry to her, her parents' bakery. And, and see her oldest sister, Saffron, and try and get like some super nice butter icing muffins, mm -hmm. like a big batch of them to go and take to Priyanka as a big thank you for the ticket. That's very, very cute. Um, so who 
who works in the bakery? So you've got your father, Tolan, uh, Jacinthe, your mother, Saffron, your older sister, older sister, and Apple, your older sister, and you're the youngest. Um, so who all in all works in this bakery? It, it, it's owned and run by my parents, um, but it's the family business. So as we all grew up, we all had to kind of, you know, muck in. But Cherry was not great at baking. She was a bit absent-minded, a bit of a daydreamer. Mm -hmm. um, so the two sisters stayed on and um, the bakery is really popular now. Uh, and it's kind of how Cherry got in to the academy because she learned that she could bedazzle. Um, and so she sort of lifted the bakery to, to new heights through the power of <laughs> illusion and enchantment. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but it wasn't really for her. So she went off to the academy and mm -hmm. her family remained. Okay. I think, um, yeah, I think it's Saffron and, and Apple who are working today as you head in. Um, uh, you uh, hastily um, put away your phone as you get a message from Priyanka that says, so what are we? Um, and <laughs> um, um, yeah, and uh, you, uh, your sister uh, Saffron uh, like looks up at you like, well, as I live and breathe. Cherry, huh? Hey, how are you doing? Hey. Yeah, good, good. It's um, how how are you, how are you doing? Yeah, good. I mean, uh, uh it's looking really nice. For, yeah, uh, thank you for all the shout outs on social media and stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. Things have been um, really picking up. So, uh, I mean, they were already more so, you know. So, it thanks. Uh, but... Oh, of course. I am sorry, I've not visited much. It's been it's it's, it's so busy. It's yeah. No, we we get it. Um, it's uh, it's an honor uh, to to be at the academy. Oh. So mm. yeah, we're we're really proud of you. You don't have to apologize. It's fine. Thanks. Mm -hmm. um, I assume you need something though. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is it? You know those like banana and caramel things that you do yeah yep 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 the ones that I have like are a tray you. of them babes a tray uh well six uh like uh saffron calls to the back and it's like apple cherry wants a tray <laughs> <laughs> of a banana surprise <laughs> it's for a really good cause i i i'll I, I like double the output this week um uh apple sticks uh her head through kind of like the the beaded kind of curtain and it's just like a tray and then also steps out and it's like hey <laughs> and it's like taking off some hey. like, gloves uh hey okay so you've come back here to your uh, cute little sister's bakery i mean i know it's our parents but like it's kind of ours uh and you want a whole tray and you know what you know what cherry come right up <laughs> and then she'll like head back and <laughs> go and sort that for you thank you and i kind of like dip my little finger into some icing as, as i go past her <laughs> saffron just goes Psh, no no <laughs> bad cherry <laughs> um and uh your sisters sort that out for you uh and you get like a uh, like in a in what is restrained for priyanka like five minutes later you get a question mark uh after the so what are we text um <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, you managed to acquire these baked goods. Yeah, I just send an image of those back to her on my way. <laughs> <laughs> um, heart eyes emoji, heart eyes emoji. Uh, she doesn't know what this means, but she's reading into it a lot. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, fantastic stuff. Um, I think, uh, I think now that you kind of buried the hatchet with Priyanka. Um, I think it, it's, uh, I think you're all kind of hanging out in a common area, um, the three of you, when um, the headmistress comes along. Um, uh, yes, head, uh, Mistress Aurora Narcisse. Nice. Um, she'll kind of um, head up and uh, uh, she places um, a hand on your shoulder, Cherry, just kind of like a little and then um, kind of nods to you and then looks at the others. Hello there, uh, students, how, how, how are we all doing this fine day? Greetings, headmistress. Mm -hmm. 
Quite fine, thank you. And you? Uh, rather good. Um, I just wanted to uh, mention, I know it's been a while, but uh, you all did very well in, um, in the trial for the Ember Stone. Uh, of course, it wasn't a real artifact at all. And it was just kind of a training process thing, but uh, very promising, very promising stuff. Thank you. We know we're rather skilled. Mm-hmm. And confident, too. Uh, isn't there another one in your team? Uh, yes, um, but mm, she doesn't ha necessarily hang out with us a lot. Right now, there's kind of a concert going on. Oh, the wild. Uh, the wild. The way... Well, mm. Well, we'll that, that sounds right to me. Yeah. Will the beasts? Yes, uh, of course. Um, it, it isn't on though, right? Just now. That makes me feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, part of you is like, uh, was that for me? Maybe I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, it's not starting now, is it? I, a while to go. I honestly couldn't tell you. I mm. don't mm. particularly pay attention to those kinds of things. Mm, it doesn't seem like you're seen more art house. Yeah, yeah, more art house. I got that vibe. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Uh, what about you two? Uh, do you know? I do believe that the first prelude has ended, and the performance is now entering the first set of songs, which will be followed by an intermission and costume change. I see. Well. Um, why don't you, uh, do you know what, as a, as a reward for, for doing so well in the challenge, uh, I can, I can get you in there. Uh, the Academy, um, has a lot of benefits, you know, as students, you get to receive those benefits and, uh, yes, you did very well. And this is a reward. Um, sure. I will, I'll get you in. How about that? And you can go get Melody and, uh, and, and head on into, uh, it's, uh, I believe there's a box of some sort you can go to and uh, meet the performer. Uh, yeah. um, and, and we have to. <laughs> I, I just thought it was a, a nice team building exercise, oh, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. going out and, and uh, I, you know what, actually, Cherry, I think that she's gonna use the string she has on you. Uh, and I think I'm going to offer you XP to, to go to this concert and support Melody. Okay. Okay. <laughs> of course, that there would be an educational purpose in going to this concert. Thank you, Headmistress, for always being concerned for our development. Sure. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll I'll make some calls. Go on, go go get Melody. Go in, have fun. Woo, Mistress, I have a question. Mm? Yes, what? You mentioned that the earlier trial was, of course, all staged and prefabricated for educational yes. purposes. Mm. Is that truly the case, though? Mm, yes. Well, the artifact's not real uh if it was you know that dangerous of an artifact if it fell into the wrong hands we would have gone in there ourselves we wouldn't have waited a day for you to go in and get it you know so it's just merely a um the lava was real if that's what you were asking the lava was real yes absolutely i was more concerned with the runic entrance oh the runes yes uh i believe that was uh that wasn't my doing but uh fun idea Absolutely. Why did you like that? Was that was that fun? <laughs> to answer your query directly, yes, it was great. fun. I liked it. Great, great. Um, yes, I think um, one of the uh, the professors, uh, um, Sophia. It was something to. I think she was behind that element. Of it i'm not sure um yeah so off you go then get out go <laughs> have Can fun I... yes headmistress 
Can I roll figure out a person? Because this feels this feels very suspicious to me. Absolutely, go for it. <laughs> I am not rolling figure out a person. Mm -hmm. This is cool. This feels perfectly. Fun. Oh, that feels yeah. very appropriate. Three on the die. Three on the die. Thanks. Mark an XP. Yeah, well, a total of five, but still. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, get that XP. Yeah. Um, and um, the headmistress uh, looks at you and. Um, you just unreadable, just like a small little smile on her face, and just like, Do you go to head out then? Support your friend? Fine. I will torture my ears for Melody. Oh, God, she's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking about? Which one? <laughs> oh, uh, hmm? uh, just looking Celestia. at you very curiously. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Of course, oh, Celestine Waffle. Yeah, uh, yes, of course, Wild uh, Wilder. Uh, wonderful. Um, and uh, she will, uh, uh, before you go, um, Cherry, um, she'll say, and make sure that you, you know, say that uh, this is a wonderful little treat from us to you, and uh, go out there and do the Academy proud, won't you? Of course. Always. Always. Uh, pats your head <laughs> and heads off. <laughs> so uh, you all arrive um, and you uh, and Melody are led behind like the, uh, the velvet rope uh, and it's, it's just the four of you. So poor Willow is left stood <laughs> in the line and also Priyanka's ticket is gone <laughs> and the four of you have been let in um, oh no <laughs> uh, and most of you didn't even want to go so this is super fun uh, <laughs> anyone who mm, actually yeah I mean anyone who doesn't have the guilty condition please take it uh, because <laughs> oh, that's, that's oh, Dora. just Dora. I made friendship <laughs> bracelets was this inappropriate <laughs> You pass out friendship bracelets to Willow and Raven before you all leave. Um, <laughs> um, um, and uh, yeah, Melody, your friends arrive and they tell you that they've gotten uh, VIP passes to not only watch this concert in, in, in a box so close to the stage, but also to meet Celestia. Wait, what? How, how did... I didn't even know you were coming. Neither do and we. We wouldn't leave you, like, on your own. Dora? You... Th this is a product like... of our hard work. This is a reward for our teamwork and good cohesion, according to Headmistress. Oh, well, I'm happy to go. I just, I'm, I'm very confused. Um... I will like. Can I just like wave to Raven and Willow in school? And Cherry's like <laughs> throwing her mirror up to sort of like get a big selfie of us all. Like, Smile, everyone! And we're all like smiling, apart from Melody, who's just like, <laughs> <laughs> "Oh my god, no, not the dab!" Um, <laughs> I was informed that this gesture is highly popular on the weave. Is this incorrect? Oh. Is my information outdated? So the rest of these wildies uh watch as you get led to the front of the crowd with cherry holding up um your uh your phone in essence um while uh nix looks so disappointed to be there um and uh while <laughs> dora is full-on dabbing as you walk <laughs> just held in place um, just, just doing one of these yeah <laughs> As, as Dora is doing the dab, you just see like rows of friendship bracelets. She researched what she needed to come to the concert for. She's doing her best to study and integrate and appreciate the culture around her, which dictates yes. clacky, colorful beads on an elastic band around her wrists. Mm -hmm, absolutely. It has all of your friends' names on there. It has Celestia's name on there. It has VIP on there. It has, um, it has really good teammate on there of several different accolades um <laughs> um melody you watch as um uh you know 
Ray, uh, Willow, you know, watches you go. You're not entirely sure she really wanted to be there, but she wanted to be there for you. Um, and Raven kind of watches you and is just kind of like, uh, like a kind of, a nod that's not approving, just a kind of like, you do you. Uh, and, uh, you know, you've gotten to know like a few of the different wildies who have been next to you in the in the queue. And they see you get led off. What what is medley Mel, medley? What does Melody feel? Conflicted. One, this is like absolutely something that she would love to do. She would mm -hmm. love to meet Celestia. But she also knows what the wildies are like, and she's getting the special treatment. Um, and I'm not looking forward to looking on the weave later. Yeah. To find out what everyone is saying. Yeah, you see a few people kind of slyly like take out their phones and kind of like go psh, psh, psh. <laughs> um yeah, you feel like there might be a few a few posts maybe, but you know, I'm sure it'll all be fine. Um okay, so you are led in. Um yeah, full VIP treatment. You're like uh taken around um where nobody else goes. Um and uh the concert will be starting up in like an hour or so now but you're led into this box that is um it's got uh all sorts of um delicious treats it's got um maybe some of them were sourced from your family's uh, bakery as well cherry um and um uh, so much food and and just it and it's it's just luxurious like there are wonderful like very plush seats um it's uh it's i don't know would any of you have experienced something like this before Definitely not Dora. Sponsorship gigs. Or... Yeah. Probably not for Nyx. Mm -hmm. No, first time for Melody. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask Dora, Melody, and Nyx to mark the insecure condition. Hmm. Uh, Cherry, though, you're in your element. Uh, this is this is this is fine. This is dandy. Uh, in fact, you're kind of like, oh. These seats are made of, uh, oh, okay, yeah, no, it's very good. It's pretty nice, pretty swanky. Yeah, yeah, just appraising. Um, yeah, and... it's about the situation now. It, it doesn't matter that it's Celestia. Now mm -hmm. Cherry is like, okay, well, I'm in a very important place. I can just... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, what do you all do as you as you wait? You can see that people are starting to kind of like eventually like file in uh, and uh, fill up the, uh, the, the concert hall. I'm busy around excited? them, I think. Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, go on. Uh, I, I think Dora catching maybe the differences or like the changes in emotions that Melody's going through, knowing that Melody is at her idol's concert this close, kind of wondering what this the excitement and joy would is things Dora would have expected of Melody, but that did not seem to be visibly exhibited. If I'm cor if that seems correct. Yeah, I I have like a look of terror on my face. I am really not sure what what is about to happen. So if you're asking how how I'm feeling, <laughs> and that's all you'll get. That seems about accurate. Are you I would like Dora would like to uh, use a move. Mm -hmm. Um essentially I am going to try to offer emotional support. The name of my okay. move is please state the nature of your psychiatric emergency. Wonderful. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um so to Real give context healthy. <laughs> it says if you roll a plus 10 when offering emotional support you can ask the person you're supporting about what they hide from everyone else however you can't help but overshare in response whoever you comfort gets to ask you a question in return so emotional I'm support. roll i was recently given the guilty condition but yeah. i might use strings to help me uh out here so let's see wonderful okay come on. oh that's pretty good okay. math <laughs> Uh, I'm going to use one string I have on Melanie, so that would bring my total up to a nine. Up to a nine, okay. Have you got any other strings at all? I have one more. I can only use one string at a time, correct? I'll say that you can use two if you want. You got the strings? Sure. Then 
because I kind of want to use the move, I'll use all the strings I have on Melody bringing the strings down to zero for this. Yeah, thing. we've only got a few episodes. We want to exhibit all the different things that are going on. So, um, yes. Yeah, so, uh, ten plus. Uh, so we'll just do the the normal things that you do on a ten plus. Um, so. Uh, it says if they open up to you, they choose one from below, and either uh, you either choose one or take a string on them. So you're asking, yeah, how do you how do you go about this conversation? Melody, are you in some sort of distress? Is there something I can do to alleviate that? Uh, I, 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 I'm very excited, but what if I? What if I say the wrong thing? What if I do the wrong thing? What if I'm just a disappointment and no one will ever like me ever again? And I, 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 I no, this is, this is, I, I didn't have time to plan. I would continue liking you. I don't think there is much you can say that would change that. Like, for a moment, I will just take a deep breath and hold it. And then there's just a weight released from my, my shoulders. That's very kind. I think you have a lot to offer. You are a very talented songwriter and musician. You have a great capacity to reach people's hearts. I don't know that if, well, rather, I certainly do not own a biological heart. I do not know if I am built with the specific capacity that one may call on a heart, but your talent has indeed reached it. And for that, I am grateful. So please do not discount yourself as you have done something that your idol has not succeeded in. I, I, th I think you definitely do have a heart. If you say so, then I believe it. Thank you for that. Melody. No, thank you. I feel better now. But, but what if I do say the wrong thing? If you say the wrong thing and your idol is displeased with you, then I will correct them. I will insist that those words were not incorrect. That's very brave. I think it is something that a very good friend would do for another. I think it is something that anyone whose heart was reached would do for another. And with that, I will just kind of go quiet. And if if it's okay with Ida, just place a hand on a hand. Thank you. You're very welcome. Please, I hope you find a way to enjoy the concert, to revel in the lovely music, but take assurance that I think yours is even lovelier. Hmm. Okay. And that's why we play Thirsty Sword Lesbians, because it's built for these emotional moments and we love it. So, offering emotional support um, to Melody from Dora. Uh, so, uh, Melody did in fact take you up on it. So, Melody, you can either clear a condition, mark XP, gain a plus one forward, so plus one to your next roll, or gain insight from me about an obstacle facing one of you. I think I'm going to take the XP and get myself even closer to. Nice, nice. Yeah. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Um, and before we get to your playbook uh, move, Ida, um, you can also either uh, take a string on Melody or choose one yourself. I will. Be a pro gamer and take an XP. <laughs> nice. Very, very nice. Um, okay. And going back to your uh, your playbook move. Um, so you can ask the person you're supporting what they hide from everyone else. Then 
uh, Ida would ask him up the table, what is your PC hiding that's relevant in this moment? Melody is incredibly insecure. And the, the outward way that she presents herself is aloof and as though she doesn't really care by some of the other things that other people do um, and how good they are at it. Um, even though she actually really thinks they're awesome and very cool. Um, but she just never wants to be seen as that person who's going to talk about it because she wants to be the really, really cool one. She wants to be like Celestia Wildfire. Um, so deep down, there's a real insecurity here. And uh, Melody gets to ask uh, a question of, of Dora as well in return. I think this can be any question. Yeah, this doesn't specify. Okay, so ask any, a question in return. Any question. And I'm encouraged to overshare whatever in that response to your question. What a what a great move. It's so good. <laughs> can I hold that question and come back to it on uh, another point? Is that something we're able to do within the mechanics? Uh absolutely in my mechanics, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> on I'll... the spot, I also reckon it's like woof. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'll hold on to it. Yeah, I think in this moment, um, you've been comforted, you've kind of um shared a, a part of yourself that you don't normally share with someone, and that um kind of gives you pause for a moment and it does steady you. Um, but that is the moment that the door to the box opens and inside steps the one and only Celestia Wildfire, uh, who is currently tapping away on her crystal. I think she has a crystal um, and is flanked by uh, a couple of what you could presume are security. Um, and it's like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and then she looks up. Hey, uh, good to see all of you. How are we doing today? Oh, wait, Cherry Heart? Oh, hey, Girl! Crystal. I'm such a big fan. Oh, my God. I'm a fan of you. I watch your streams. Wow. Oh, How my God. Doing? Thank you. Thank you. So I'm, I'm great. I'm great. Yeah. And uh, smile. We're doing a little thing for the Academy. So. <gasps> My goodness and then she'll like go up to you cherry and we'll like wrap an arm around you and we'll be like hey. uh, if you're fine with that um yeah. <laughs> amazing. and we'll just be like hey uh pimeria uh so cool to see you here uh 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 we're we're i'm gonna need to warm up but i'm so excited <laughs> to meet cherry uh it's great to see all of you <laughs> isn't she the best <laughs> uh just yeah um the rest of you watch as like these two are like uh chatting to cherry's fans and doing a fun little collab melody's hand will grip tighter <laughs> 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 onto doors in this moment nix will kind of like nudge you from behind melody being like you uh, want to say hi uh, no, but yes, but no. May okay. I make a suggestion? Uh, of course. Would Melody have brought her guitar with her? Uh, mm -hmm. I think that it would probably have been with Raven still. Mm -hmm. um, and it would probably be more, more lyrical based. Mm -hmm. uh, like what she would look to do if there was any sort of Hmm. giving of what what she can do i'm also going to say because this is huge for melody right now oh, and yeah. uh, com coupled with the fact that celestia has gone straight to the fellow influencer in the room this is yeah. a lot to take in i'm gonna stagger you melody <laughs> <laughs> um how many conditions do you have i have two conditions right now okay I'm so about to make it better no uh so either uh, you lash out at someone whose regard matters to you, provoke them to do something foolish or harmful, uh, take advantage of a string you hold on them if applicable, um, you hesitate or stumble and the opposition gains an opportunity. The opposition in this case, I guess would be Celestia, sure. Uh, or you grin and bear the blow and mark two additional conditions. Uh, I, I think that I would hesitate or stumble 
in this mm-hmm. moment and with like being encouraged to to go and say hello i would just like walk up very confidently put out a hand and go hi melody i'm celestia <laughs> Uh, I think Celestia turns around uh, to you and kind of looks at you for a long while in a way that makes you feel extremely insecure because, you know, when somebody like just looks at you and you feel immediate like rejection almost, but then she bursts out laughing and she's like, (laughs) oh, wow. I mean, I, twinsies, I mean, uh. (laughs) Cherry, who is this? They're a riot. Who is this? Uh, hey, this this is this is my one of my best friends. This is Melody Starlight. She's she's like such a super fan of yours. Uh, oh wow! Uh, well, it's wonderful to meet you, Melody. Uh, uh, how how are you? Great to see you all here. Uh, you're from the uh, academy too. All right. Yeah, yeah, we all we all came here to see the show, and I, I didn't know I was going to be here speaking to you today. This is this is not what I expected. I dis- I didn't know I was going to be here talking to you either, but uh, I got a call, so uh, I thought I'd stop by. We are also here to support Melody. We know that she is a great fan of yours. While you are an accomplished singer and performer, Celestia, mm-hmm. as friends, I also must vouch that. My friend here is a very accomplished songwriter and singer and performer as well. You write and sing and perform at uh, triple threat. Am I right? Uh, what what kind of stuff do you write? Oh, you know, it's 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 all fairly. It's incredible. It's Celestia, really good. It. It, oh, she's so good. Um, Dora, do you still have the lyrics on you? I don't know. I mean, I might offer you an XP to to show them off. <laughs> I, I, I think Dora would be like, of course, uh, uh, hyping up and bringing examples of, mm. of her friend's writing is the appropriate thing to do here. There's no other, no one else will could possibly take advantage of the situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So paper comes out and unfolds it. And read the uh, the two lines mm-hmm. that Melody had written, but uh, Dora kind of performs them um, almost with a sort of sing song softer voice without her usual kind of drone voice, huh. okay. as if she's. This is the kind of feeling that Dora would have received reading it the first time. This is how she delivers it reading. Okay, can you make me, um, can you roll and then add heart for me, please? And, and Cherry might enhance it a little bit with some light and sparkles behind. Okay. Okay. Take that into account. I rolled a total eight on the dice. Okay, on the dice, have you got any heart? There is a total. Oh, total. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Um. So with Cherry's help, um, I will say, um, yeah, you took XP. You didn't uh, take a forward or anything. Okay, yeah. Um, I think it's a mixed uh, a mixed beat still. However, taking uh, Cherry's help into account, I will say that. And But also, um, Sam, can you remind us uh, of what those lyrics were, if you still have them on you? They were gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe Dora's uh, rendition is too auto-tuned or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the digital haze, she dances so bright, a phantom of chords in the heart of the night. Yeah, I think that um, Celestia kind of pauses. Um... Roll to figure out a person, please, Sam, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Figure out. Uh, mm-hmm. and what? Uh, it's 11 already. Um, oh, hold on. Uh, so, yeah, 12 with wit. Nice. Um, yeah. You can ask two questions of Celestia right now to see how she is feeling. Um, so, you know, what are your feelings towards blank? Uh, what do you hope to get from blank? 
how could I get you to blank? And what do you love most? And how would you feel if I blank? Uh, so I would ask after Dora reading out those um, those lyrics. Uh, what do you what do you think about that? Uh, what are your feelings towards those lyrics? I think Celestia. I think she was not expecting to be as impressed as she actually was by those lyrics. Um, she thought it was going to be a kind of like, oh yeah, my friend writes, uh, you know, lyrics, poetry. She gets that all the time. Uh, but those actually did impress her. Um, and you get a second question as well, if you would like to ask. Uh, how would you feel if I joined you on stage? How would Celestia feel if you joined her on stage? She would feel um, little doggy flap in the corner, sorry. Uh, she would feel biscuit stop <laughs> a little bit insecure um because those were genuinely good and she's a little bit taken aback and but also she doesn't know you you know that's kind of you know this tour this concert it's her baby you know that's inviting a stranger in and just kind of like going off of you know a couple of uh, a couple of lyrics. Even though she is impressed by you, she would be hesitant. Um, and I think she looks at you and she says, you're good. Thank you. That means a lot. I mean, I only say what I deem to be the truth, so I'm not you know, I. It would I'd be honest with you. Be beneficial to invite my friend to the stage, specifically as we have been invited to this backseat and exclusive VIP access by the administrator of the academy in the land. Mm. It may perhaps positively influence your social standing with such pe figures of authority. Yeah. Uh. Sure. Um. Well. Uh. As I'm sure you understand, uh, there's a lot that goes into the staging and um, the choreography, and I, it would be um, it would be difficult to um, make that happen. But uh, Melody, do you want to come backstage? Can I? Uh, can I? I yeah, sure. I mean, it's going to be busy because everyone's going to be setting up and uh, I'll be preparing to go on. But, you know, you'll be able to see what I see, you know, that crowd. Well, I my, my friends came to support me, so I only think, like, can they come too? I, I, she turns to the rest of you. You don't mind, do you? I, I feel like I... I feel like we should have a, a bit of one-on-one -on -one time, you know, songwriter to songwriter. This is for you, Melody. Do I believe her? <laughs> you can roll the figures or whatever if you want. I don't know you was wrong. Nick does not trust. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is the one who should be doubting. Nix is so bad at understanding people, apparently. I'm, I'm not even good. Yeah, I can could, could Could I roll, actually? Because Cherry doesn't often do this. Because she doesn't bother to look into people, but I think as like a, such a her rival and and big superstar, I think maybe she is watching. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and especially with when it comes to Melody as well, because that makes you feel insecure. The fact that it's like you know what's so special about her. So. It does, and as it's yeah. about emotions and feelings, could I use heart? You're still trying to figure her out, though, right? I'm teasing, I'm teasing. Yeah. <laughs> that is like, a double five. Oh. Okay. Oh, hey. Plus wit. Oh, that's a double five. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> oh, I, I wasn't sure if you added or took away. Yeah, no, um, I have nothing. Okay, cool. Uh, so once again, the two the two questions. Um, uh, what are your feelings to? I'm I'm gonna put them in, in the chat for you. Easy, easy peasy. Same before you get two. Uh, 
Okay. So I think the first thing that Jerry is thinking is, what do you hope to get from taking Melody backstage? I think Celestia hopes to inspire, but also maybe put Melody in her place a little bit. And just to clarify, this isn't like this isn't a direct conversation between the two of us. No, this is me being able to get the read. Yeah, that's so a okay. So with that in mind, and the next question mm-hmm. is is like more direct to Celestia. Okay. Hey, Celestia, mm-hmm. how would you feel if I sent my weave mirror backstage and caught this? Because it would be so great for the academy, and it would do a lot for your fit numbers. Oh, I'm afraid that. Uh... That won't be allowed because it's a strictly no cameras backstage thing. We're going to be recording the whole tour, you see, and then putting it out on um, Wildly Plus. So I'm afraid that uh, it's going to be no recording back there. But I love the vision. I love it. That's such a shame. You hear that, folks? We can't do it. Never mind. Oh, make sure to subscribe to Wildly Plus and then you can watch it. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Come on, Melody. Let's go. And she'll offer a hand to you. I'll look back, everyone. Okay, yeah. Thank you. We will be waiting here for you when you return, and we will celebrate your experience. I am very happy for you. I'm so happy. <laughs> and um, we'll take the hand and go. Okay. Um, I think the second she leaves, I turn to the other two. And I'm just like... <sighs> Celestia's gonna. She's gonna eat Melody up. She's gonna. She was jealous. She did not like the fact that Melody's got talent. I dread to think what's gonna happen back there. When you say eat up, do you mean that? Do you mean that Melody will be consumed? <laughs> okay, yeah, I see what I did there. No. Um... <laughs> Celestia does not have good feelings for Melody right now, and I think she's going to make... I don't know. I don't know what she's going to do, but it's not going to be good for Melody. Oh. Was my actions the cause of that? No, no. It had nothing to do with you. People like us who live in the limelight, we... We let everything get to our head, and I just think... She doesn't want to see Melody's talent outshine hers. It's spite. It would, it would have happened even without you, Dora. Is there anything we can do for our friend right now? <sighs> Nothing legal. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could see. And uh, by the way, is the weave off now? Or are we having this full blow gun? <laughs> <laughs> no, we did a kind of like, yeah, cherry heart out after the. Okay, 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 okay. But as soon as Celestia started like plugging her channel on my feed, I was just like, mm, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pay just me. just wanted to check because. Mm-hmm. That would be very funny, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. So, um, well, what do you think she's going to do? Is she going to bring Melody up on stage and embarrass her? Well, she said they couldn't go on stage, but you know, well, embarrassment is... I don't know. I mean, I couldn't imagine doing this to my fans and then in the back of her head she's thinking about her friends <laughs> um, yeah but I don't know belittle her Melody's already you saw how nervous she was I mean if Celestia yeah. tells her that her lyrics aren't any good for example what do you think that's going to do I would um, like to follow mm-hmm. stealthily I agree. I mean, we're not stuck in this booth. We're allowed to wander, right? Yeah, VIP access is put as far as you know. Yeah. Uh, You do know that there are two security guards who were following after Mm Celestia and Melody. Um, 
But yeah, if you want to, yeah, give me a, a grace roll. If whoever wants to try and head are along we, to backstage. Are we doing this as a team or are we going to? Yeah. Gonna... yeah, you can roll individually and then I'll kind of like take oh. up average kind of thing. I meant more just like, are we all going? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. <clears throat> uh, seven, eight, nine, Makes total eight for Dora. Seven. Okay, seven, eight, nine. Um, <laughs> all mixed beats. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you're all able to to head out. Um, and uh, yeah, nobody is kind of nobody's is is you know policing you in any way. However, you don't know where um Melody has been taken by Celestia. Um, you know it's backstage, but the, the, this is a huge theater. Um, it, it, you you can't specifically figure out where they would be right now. Um, but you are nearby. You know, you you. If anything goes awry, you will be able to find Melody. Melody. Uh, Celestia leads you backstage. Um, and she she'll say how long have you been writing oh i think it's been about about five years now um yeah yeah since i was 16. yeah i mean i think that might be around about when i got my start maybe i'm not sure but uh yeah uh you've you've got something you've got a spark you know i think I think you should stick at it for sure. Um, but maybe as a piece of advice, writer to writer, there is always more you could be doing to enhance your talents. Uh, and I think that's the moment where she, if you don't mind, Sam will place a hand on your shoulder. And all of a sudden you feel like you've been hit by a ton of bricks, but not like you fall to the ground. You feel so lethargic and so tired. And you see kind of rising up Celestia's arm. It's almost a kind of life force that she is dragging up out of you and into her. But you see the, you see that it's not just coming out of you. There are little wisps just flying, flying in. And eventually it's just like a, a huge wall that flies into her. And she kind of, <sighs> that really hit the spot. Once you build up a following, that's something you might be able to do too. What did you do? Why do I feel like this? Well, you're just like the rest of the wildies. You're my fans, you're my support. You lend what you can so that I can do what I do. You fuel me, not only artistically, but in myself. That's why I'm able to do this. I'm on tour uh, for several months at a time. I'm going out n night after night and I sound impeccable. And that's all because of you. Isn't that great? I, I don't understand. I, I don't feel good. It's just know that it's a sacrifice for the music, Melody. Okay, sacrifice for the music, okay. Okay. And um, she'll lean in a little bit and she'll say, and this advice, of course, you know, comes with a caveat that you can't tell anyone else. You wouldn't want to, you know, hurt the fans, would you? 
And I mean, I suppose even if you did decide to tell someone, I don't know if they would believe you. Take a moment before any response. So. No, no, no. This is between us. Okay. Well, I gotta head out. But remember what I said. Maybe look into some of the stuff I've been doing. Okay? Uh, and as she walks away from you, Sam, I'm gonna give you a choice. <laughs> um, either you can take what she said to heart and actively improve your performances and we will talk out of game as to how that manifests and you can level up basically and you will also be on a fairly equal standing with her and she could maybe act as a kind of mentor to you or you can grab a microphone and tell all of the other wildies what's going on on stage but that will have consequences <laughs> I'm going to think over the things that have happened today. And a lot of things have happened in what is a generally quite quiet life that Melody lives. And the, the picnic basket being made, the support that was there, the, the sacrifice that I know will have been made by Cherry to get that ticket the group all coming and the words that Dora said about being on the same level already resonates stronger and I'm going to go for a microphone. Okay. I would, I would like it if you did a defy disaster roll for me, please. Mm. Tell me what you would like to add to that and how you want to go about this. Uh, I feeling that the kind of life force that was taken from me and watching it come out and being told that maybe I could do a little bit of what she does, I muster a little bit of my own magic and I'm going to use spirit as part of that, if that's, that's okay. Yeah. Um, which is plus one, and that is a nine. Thing is, Sam, is that I was just about to say I'm going to give you a string on her because you know something very important. Would you like to use that string? Oh, 100%. I do. Let's take you up to a 10 then. <laughs> <laughs> you do this with style. At the GM's discretion, you may also learn new information, discover a new opportunity, or gain a string on someone. Do any of those speak to you particularly? I know it's up to me, but... Mm, I I think I'd gain a string on Celestia. Cool. You use oh, a string, cool. you gain it right back. Mm -hmm. Nice. You grab this microphone, you rush out on stage, and... You can see that like there is like a mist all around. Celestia's not made her grand entrance yet, but you're a musician, you know how these mics work. You, you know, you flip up uh, on the soundboard before you like head out, make sure it's the right mic, and you walk out on stage. What do you say to this crowd who looks up at you in utter confusion? You can see Willow, you can see uh, all of the other wildies that you met outside and spoke to, and you can see Raven. Uh, who is quite close to the front and looking up at you in utter confusion. Uh, I'm going to speak incredibly fast just in terms of being under so much stress and not having a lot of actual energy left and say, Celestia Wildfire is lying to us all. We have, we fuel her talent. We are the talent and we need to leave, leave and then I'm going to drop to my knees um, and 
that's as much as I can get out at that moment. Just that the world is the talent. She's not. Okay. Um, everyone else, you hear this, absolutely hear this, and that will allow you to get to the stage. Okay. Uh, booking it? Yep. Booking. Good plan. Mm -hmm. And broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I Wait, Cherry, you said that Melody would not be consumed. I didn't realize how right I was. <laughs> Figurative and literal sayings are very confusing at this point, but haste, haste must be made now. Sometimes they blend one with the same, so this is I one guess of that reasons. is called irony. <laughs> Maybe. In any case, let's get to the stage. Okay, I'm gonna see if the three of you can get there before any action is taken <clears throat> against Melody. Um, I'm gonna ask you to roll Defy Disasters as well, all three of you, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, as, as you're rolling, rolling these, if I've still got the microphone display, please make your way to the exits nearest to you in a calm <clears throat> and orderly fashion. Look out for your other wildies. <laughs> that is adorable. Defy disaster is daring. It can be anything any. you want to be. Oh, no, yeah, okay. So, yeah, so I'll do grace because I'm just hurry. I'm using speed. Yeah, you're running so fast. Oh, that's not. Oh, seven, eight, nine. Nice. So okay. Next. Fantastic. I feel like it's going to be more of an endurance thing, just kind of running as fast mm -hmm. as uh, Nyx can. So, mm -hmm. daring. Uh, that's an eight total for me. Dora. Dora also rolled the daring and it's a total 10 for them. Very appropriate. Okay, cool. Um, I will say also, um, Melody, you see in the crowd that both Willow and Raven know you mean business. Like they know how big of a fan you are and they think this is either you've been mind controlled or something, or this is the truth. So they're going to start trying to usher people away. And I think that there are some people, because you rolled so well, who are, who are in fact leaving. Um, and I think you kind of glance over your shoulder and just backstage, you see Celestia and she doesn't look angry disappointed or anything that you expected she's just smiling softly um and that's when dora reaches you first and will drag you away with the help of your two friends uh what do you say as you meet each other I need to go home. Thank you all so much. I don't have anything left. Anything left? What do you mean? She took something from me. Okay. We'll figure out what it is. Let's just get out of here where we're safe. Let's get out to where we're safe. We'll take you home. And I must reiterate, Melody, your music, your words, don't take anything from those it's intended. It gives. Good music to the heart is supposed to give, not take. I think throughout all of this, um, if I it is okay, um, Melody is going to be smitten by this. Very nice. Okay. Uh, I'll ask this quickly of you now then. <laughs> so how does pursuing Dora conflict with your devotion? And on top of that, your devotion, is it still Celestia or is it something else? Uh, 
answer to the first one is that it's in direct conflict and is not, not something that she's ever directly looked to do. Um, and so now that that devotion has been broken by the revelations, um, the devotion is in limbo. Okay. Not quite found a spot yet. amazing um yeah i'm gonna say that you expect um people to come out and and grab you but there isn't anyone who does that strikes you as odd but you're able to make your way out and um dora cherry and nix you manage to get your friend melody back to the dorms and you're able to look after her um would you all mind rolling me some emotional support yeah. for your friend and tell me how you try to support her. Still have some conditions, mind some conditions. Yeah, I've got a minus two. Yeah. I have a minus three. Ah! <laughs> I don't have strings on Melody, do I? Did I, I use all my strings? Um, oh, well, I will say, but because um, Melody's become smitten with you, I believe you get a string on um, now. With Dora, yeah. Oh, yeah. that is okay. case. Yeah. Uh, I think I might need to use it to help my friend. Okay. <laughs> Good okay. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, I had an eight. And a negative three brought it to a five. Oh. Okay. <laughs> After the pluses and minuses, total eight, Dora. Okay. Uh, Jerry? Four minus two is oh. two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> On the plus side, I have five now. Yeah. Heck yeah. That means you'll get to market advance. Oh, I've got to five. <laughs> oh, no, 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 advance in the playbook. Oh, silver linings, folks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Sam. Um, can um, Don't be sorry. can uh, Cherry next please tell me how you try and fail to comfort your friend in this time? <laughs> <laughs> Nyx is just patting her shoulder. <laughs> I feel like, like you're tucked up in bed right now, Melody, like your friends have looked up. Yeah. Yep. It'll be think... okay. It's okay. <laughs> just for a if, I'm, if I'm tucked up in bed, you're probably just patting the pillow. Instead. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Cherry. I think to make this kind of real, I, you know, Cherry wants to support melody about this but i think she's so wound up about the celebrity using their fan base to create that uh, that she's kind of seething on that and so mm. rather than being supportive she's actually just being like very aggy and negative and and yeah so it's not very helpful mm -hmm. it's more yeah absolutely yeah you're just um plotting revenge on yeah. celestia and wondering how you can like drag her through the mud um which is also, you know, in the long run, supportive. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think uh, Nix and um, Cherry, you probably just kind of think, I'm hindering more than helping. And yeah. the two of you might head out um, at some point, uh, leaving the two of you alone. Um, Dora, with a mixed beat, um, how does the conversation go? And then we'll see how it manifests. I think Dora would frame it in terms of, I have to apologize as well. You stated that you had a need, something that would make you more comfortable. And Celestia did not accommodate that. That was incorrect of Celestia. That is not safe and proper and kind, respectful behavior. However, as friends, we should have supported and brought your needs to the forefront more. I apologize for not doing that. Going forward, when you state you have things that will make you more comfortable and make you feel safe, I will do my utmost, no matter the disturbance, to ensure that they are respected. You did not want to go alone. We left you go alone. That should not have happened. I am sorry, Melody. You deserved better. And kind of very lethargic 
half in and out of consciousness at this moment. Just like, you all got me home. That's more than anyone could have done in that moment. You don't have to apologize. You did the right thing. I appreciate you. That is very kind of you to say. We all appreciate you very much. I appreciate you very much. Please recover soon. Please be a better songwriter, a better singer, and a better person than Celestia Wildfire. Well, rather, you are already accomplishing that on numerous fronts. I think I, for the first time, agree with you. That makes me very happy to hear. Yes, happy. So you do have a heart. Curious. I suppose I will have to research this and learn more about this. I think I need to get some sleep. Thank you all again for getting me home. You are very welcome. Please rest. Someone please tell Willow I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Cherry, also unmark the guilty condition because you actually saved Priyanka from getting uh, sapped. So uh, you feel pretty good about yourself right now. Uh, <laughs> um, and she's even more in love with you um, uh, <laughs> for saving her. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think that your friends will let Willow and, and, and Raven know. In fact, um, so number one, uh, you can either clear a condition, mark XP, or get a plus one forward or gain insight from me about an obstacle for the emotional support. And because you are smitten with Dora, you can take another one for free. So you get two of those. Okay, I will clear one of my. Oh no, I'm going to mark an XP to get me up to five as well. Um, nice, that nice. will get me up there, and then perhaps gain some insight about an obstacle. Okay, what obstacle are you thinking? Um, what are the repercussions of what has happened, and what what might be coming our way? <clears throat> I think that you find it very um suspicious that there was no backlash in that moment and you think maybe it wouldn't have been it's not going to be backlash like immediate backlash it's going to be further on down the line so i think you know that there's gonna something is going to come of this troubled dreams that night mm -hmm. Um, I think as well, um, Dora, as you're leaving, I think that that's when Raven is coming in to the room. And I think you kind of both look at each other for a moment and then, uh, Raven looks at Melody. Melody is all right. However, Melody does need rest. Yeah. I mean, I do live here, but, but yeah. Um, thanks for looking after her. Uh, you are very welcome. She, like, looks like she's about to bow for some reason and then nods and said, okay, cool, thank you, okay. Please call upon me if there is any other assistance you may need in facilitating Melody's recuperation. Melody is a very important person to me. I will. Um, and Dora, I think the uh, last thing you see before you close the door behind you is Raven heading up to uh, Melody. And if you'll allow it, Sam, just kind of stroking your hair back gently. Mm -hmm. And that's where we'll end the episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Hello. Oh, never meet your heroes. Um <laughs> they might literally eat you. Nom nom nom. <laughs> yum yum. 
Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you so much uh, for watching this second episode of Court of Tales's Pride celebration uh, of, of 30 Sword Lesbians starting, star, starting, starring me and all of these wonderful players. Uh, let's go around and chat for these players once again. Uh, Sam, uh, where can people find you? Uh, hello, yeah, I'm Sam. Uh, you can find me at Sam Size across the internet, usually on Twitter and TikTok. But I also um, produce and perform alongside Science and Sorcery, um, who are a TTRPG actual play that combines STEM and TTRPGs and smashes them together. Um, we, in just a couple of days, I checked the dates, are about mm -hmm. to run our Pride game that is m mashing up Prime, uh, Pride and maths and bringing them together i have no idea what's going to happen but it's going to be amazing so please do check it <laughs> out and thank you all for being wonderful people to share the table with again of course but sam the gays can't do math i say that as the gays uh... <laughs> <laughs> we have found the math gays the like the, oh, yes. the, mm. the fabled math gays oh my goodness wow what incredible <laughs> thank you sam uh anya yeah, I'm Anya. I am Lali on Cosplay Everywhere. Uh, I have a number of things coming up that I can't talk about yet, but when they do come about, then I will share them on the interwebs. Um, and you can find me on my Twitch channel. I am I have started playing Pokemon Gold on my Game Boy Pocket at this point. Uh, so join me in the chaos. I have not played this since I was in elementary school. So good times. That sounds very fun and sweet. That sounds really cool. Yes. <laughs> uh, Sakaya. Hello, I am Sakaya or Sakaya on the internet. Um, I am the producer of the podcast side of the transmissions. And we run a Liminal RPG currently. It's a horror set in 1976 in North Wales. And we also have a stream, a Dragon Age stream. So check those out if you have time. Heck yeah. Um, Ida. I'm Ida. You can find me on the internet as In The Pan, and I'm all about hyping amazing, talented tables um, outside the US. So much of the TTRPG scene assumes that the United States is the center of the universe, <laughs> but we have amazing, diverse uh, talent here. Look at this goddamn table. Uh, we have full European casts for this hot pride event. We have an all queer European black table uh, on Fridays in the in the Monsters of the Week. I, I am in awe and my job is to hype and love, keep an eye on my socials for projects relating to hyping up these diverse uh, European tables in all their talents and glory. I, I, I can't, I can't, I just go on and on about it. It's amazing. Heck yeah. Um, and uh, I've been live Kennedy, your game master um, for the session. Um, big shout out to our uh, producer Darcy as well, who always does an amazing job and supports us, and it's very, very kind um, and necessary. Um, yeah, um, we'll be playing uh, two more episodes uh, in the next couple of weeks. Um, so check back in on Wednesdays, uh, follow Horde of Tales, and have a wonderful pride. And uh, yeah, celebrate, celebrate it, be safe. And uh, yeah, and we'll see you next week, I guess. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 <laughs>